Hi Joey, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be reviewing, finally it's been a long week, work's been crazy, a lot of stuff's been going on, but we gotta sit here and talk about The Penguin, okay? The Penguin is a new show on HBO Max, set in the DC Universe, not in James Gunn's universe, but in the Matt Reeves universe. It is showrun by Lauren LeFranc, and it stars Colin Farrell and Christina Milioti. Um, so Christian Milioti, who is Sophia Falcone. So we're going to talk about, we're going to get into my thoughts on the show. We're going to talk about the plot of the Penguin. Um, and, and then we'll talk about my thoughts, the performances, the story. Where do we think this show is going? Kind of oh, overall thoughts here. So let's get into, I'm just going to find my notes real quick. All right. So the Penguin is an American television series Main series created by Lauren Refrank for HBO, based on the DC Comics character The Penguin. It is a spin-off from the film The Batman 2022 that explores the Penguin's rise to power in Gotham City's the criminal underworld. Lefranc serves as the showrunner of the series, which is produced by DC Studios, associated with Warner Brothers TV. Uh, the show stars Colin Phil reprising his role as the Penguin, alongside alongside Christina Milioti um, and other actors, including Clancy Brown and other names I'm not familiar with, but we'll stick with Clancy Brown. So, this show is the continuation of Penguin's rise to power after the Batman. If you guys remember the Batman, um, Penguin was working for Carmine Falcone, played by John Turturro, and you know, he killed him, you know, stuff happened, um, and now he wants to take Gotham for himself. But, and this episode literally starts with a literal banger, where he pulls a gun and shoots the guy that was basically the son of Falcone, which really just sets the smoking gun off here, where Alberto Falcone was trying to make fun of him, and he took him off the board because he got pissed off. And so you kind of see Oz struggles about this episode with the idea of how am I going to run things, what kind of leader am I going to be, I don't know what to do, and you know, everything's kind of falling apart. Then he meets this nice kid, Victor, after a, a couple scenes of Oz shooting um, some some thugs, scaring them away. He ends up using Victor, you know, to help him out, do his little chores, do whatever, and he ends up bonding with him, really. I'm really excited to see that bond grow this season. I think it's going to be really cool. This is definitely going to be your Jason Todd of the show. I feel like something very bad is going to happen to this boy that he's bonded with. I mean, you see a scene where Penguin is is actually um, eating a sandwich with this boy, and he's swearing because he's mad they didn't give him um, enough pickles. I think the line is he says something like, "You, uh, I asked for more goddamn pickles, and, and you know they gave me one, and so it was Colin Farrell. Okay, we almost saw him a little bit in the Batman. The difference between this and the Batman is the Batman was PG-13 and they got away with a lot. This show is TVMA, so it is violent. We haven't even seen the surface of violence, but there are a couple things we'll talk about in the episode. Um, and it is brutal. A lot of swearing, a lot of drugs, pounding with a cigar. It's a lot of that stuff. And there's a clear, very clear difference. So Colin Farrell is definitely a different class of actor here. You, you are seeing someone, I thought his makeup alone in the Batman was incredible. Now we get to see him in more than just a cameo being a lead character, and he's crushing this. This guy is crossing, is crossing into territory where his name is going to be stated right next to, to that of Heath Ledger's Joker. He might not be as good as Heath Ledger's Joker, but his name is in that conversation because you're seeing this guy deliver this mind-blowing, mind-blowing performance. You're seeing Oz be vulnerable. You're seeing him show his rise to power. You get to see him visit Salvatore Moroni, played by Clancy Brown, which, man, Clancy Brown is such a great actor. It's so great to see Clancy. We know we have Mark Strong coming in later in the show, but as much as this is Oz's show, we have to talk about Sophia Falcone. Christine Christina Milioti is brilliant in this series. She is the next young actor that you guys have not gotten to see yet. Like, she is brilliant. 
That bitch is crazy. She is playing the perfect Sophia Falcone, and I think she's definitely going to become the Hangman character from the comics as well. But I do think that this show is brilliant. I think the Penguin delivers. I mean, it's like critics were raving about this show, and I didn't know what to really think. And the crazy thing about this show and Agatha is Penguin is true Scorsese cinema. The, the Penguin is like Breaking Bad meets um, meets the, the, the Sopranos, and they're doing it brilliantly. We haven't even gotten into a really brutal action. There's a couple shootouts in this episode. There's some crazy torturing stuff showing how ruthless Sophia is. And just the conversations between Sophia and um, and Oz are brilliant. Like, seeing their, their friendship and their rivalry and knowing that she knows he's lying because of how crazy he is. Finding out that she was from Arkham and she's clearly still clinically insane is great. I, I love the story. Unlike Agatha, which is boring me to tears, this show is a breath of fresh air. The acting is brilliant. The script is great. I can't wait for episode two. It sucks you have to wait till Sunday. But I'm going to give Penguin easily a 9.7 out of 10. A solid premiere. Great start to the series. And I can't wait for more. I mean, people are like, oh, stop praising the Penguin. Take it easy now, sweetheart. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it easy, sweetheart. You looking for me? See you met the twins. Boy, I hear everything they say. I guess we both are. How you doing? I'm Oz. No, I, I, I can't, okay? I mean, look, I mean, it's like the critics have said. Gosh, you're everything they say you are. Yeah, amazing, a masterpiece. The, the best episode of television ever made in 2024 for me right now. So good. I love the Penguin. I hope you guys too. Let me know your thoughts on the Penguin Episode 1. Are you guys excited for Episode 2? What are you most excited to see in the Penguin? Are you loving this mobster, crime boss type show? Far superior to Agatha? Is this itching your TV needs? Let me know. And share your thoughts in the comments below.